the largest space telescope ever built may be in danger just one day after releasing its first photos. KXAN's Eric Hendrickson spoke with a University of Texas scientist who says that the James Webb Space Telescope could be in the crosshairs. This week was a huge week for the James Webb Space Telescope, but its future may be in danger. Joining me now is space debris expert, Dr. Morba Jaw. So Dr. Jaw, tell us about the photos that we just saw from the James Webb Space Telescope this week. Basically, you have this telescope that is able to really see into the past. What the James Webb Space Telescope is able to do is it is basically interpreting, you know, photons, packets of light sent billions and billions of years ago and, and so it's really looking it's a window into the past for sure and you specialize in space debris and detecting space debris so what sort of role does space debris play in the james webb space telescope does it put the telescope at risk in any way so there's natural debris and then there's human or anthropogenic debris so the natural debris yeah it's that kind of micrometeoroid impacts which are going to hit the you know, the solar sails and like all this other stuff. So there's going to be damage, you know, human made debris, you know, where this thing is sitting, because this is a place of like gravitational stability. And we have been launching stuff towards the moon since the sixties and that sort of stuff. My guess is that there's probably some amount of dead rocket bodies and other stuff that because they were sent to the moon and they're just like aimlessly uh, you know, orbiting uh, in the Earth moon system, they, in all likelihood, some of those may have migrated just naturally into these kind of uh, places of gravitational stability. And if so, the thing that really sucks about that is that, you know, some rocket body or whatever, some dead piece of uh, human made junk might just slam into the telescope and we can't predict when or how that might happen. Really, what we need is we need a lot more sensors. Uh, from all parts of the globe pitching in to try to really develop this sort of ways for space, like the Waze traffic app, but develop this ways for space that goes beyond the Earth moon system so that we could predict when these things might collide and move the telescope out of, out of harm's way uh, if we saw that there was a high, high likelihood of a collision or something like that. Boy. So fascinating. Yeah. And a ways app for space. Can <laughs> space you imagine? junk is a concern. It would be such a shame if something floating around out there hurt this brand new piece of equipment. I think they need like a force field around it. Now. Ooh. That's the next thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I like that. <laughs>